Hi, everybody. Welcome to chapel. I am Mr. Dave, and I am excited that you are here for chapel, right? Oh, my gosh. Can you believe it's already been a month of that we've been having school here? Like, that's like blowing my mind, all right? And, and in fact, with that, we are ending our, our month theme of leadership, all right? I heard your guys' responses from last week when Miss Danielle uh, took you guys around and asked you guys what leadership was. Good job, right? I am like super impressed that you guys had all of those great things to say about leadership. And then we had Miss Stephanie and Miss Nancy talking to us about Jesus and washing the feet and what it is like to be a leader, right? So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this talk, this theme of leadership by having more of like an example, kind of just as like show like, okay, what does a leader kind of like look like through objects, right? So what we're gonna do is we have this ruler right here, all right? This is you, everybody say me. Good job, all right? So this is you, right? So use your imagination right here. And, and God makes us so awesome and so unique. Like he, he just like, we're, we're like cool in his eyes, right? And he tells us that we have gifts and talents that we have to help others, right? To do jobs. So here's, here's this, this is a job, right? And this job, it's full of good things. Like legit, this is an oatmeal pie, all right? This is like full of good stuff right here, right? And so when we have a job to do, right? God says, go do it, right? And so we feel like it's like, okay, it's our job to go do something. And we try to like lift this job up and we try to hold, what's happening here? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Um, okay, got the leader, right? God gave us gifts and talents. So go do the job. And we think, okay, I gotta do it on my own. And we, wow, we're really, <laughs> you guys aren't doing too good, <laughs> okay? Right, okay, problem here. We just, we left out something. Okay, see, Jesus, he says, go do good things, right? And I'm gonna be an example of that. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. But, you know, if you think about it, did Jesus do everything on his own? Like, like he just woke up one day and just said, I'm gonna go do something on my own. No, like, of course, he had the disciples. He chose people to go help him out. Now, is this because Jesus isn't really God and he's like weak and like he can't do anything? No, and in fact, just the opposite. Actually, Jesus is God. He was like almighty powerful guy. He could have done it on his own, but what example is he teaching us? To go do everything on our own? Well, we already just saw that. Can't lift a job or do anything on our own, right? So he set an example and says, you need helpers. You need to go do something with others, right? You can do it on your own. It's gonna take you longer. It might, you know, so here, here's this. We have some friends, right? So you have you and some friends to go do the job. And we're gonna find out what it looks like when you have more than just you doing the job with others, because that's what Jesus taught us. Every time we see in the Bible, right? Him doing great things. It wasn't by himself. He invites us into the storyline to go help him out. And then we're just like totally amazed and blown away by his power. So let's go see what this looks like when you take you and a couple of friends to go do a good deed or do a task, right? Let's go see what that looks like. All right, friends, we're over here right now and I just set up my three little areas right here and I have our three friends that I was just telling us about, right? We have you and a couple of good friends here that are gonna be doing a really sweet job right now, right? So this is what I mean when I say we get to work together to do a really cool accomplishment, right? So let me set these guys up here. Oh, this is gonna be cool. I'm super excited about this. All right. Takes a second here to set up. Ta-da! Took me a little bit, but you know what? Sometimes when you get a team work together, you know how I'm talking about, right? Everybody's just kind of like trying to formulate what's going on. We have our three people working together now. Now, do you think 
Now, if I set this, you know, pretty hefty basket here full of delicious oatmeal pies right here, if I set that on there, you think it's gonna fit? Let's give it a try, right? Now, you saw what happened when I put the basket on just the one, right? Man, it just went poof, like that. Here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right here in the middle. On the count of three, one, two, three. Whoa. Look at that, no, literally, there's like no strings attached, right? So like, watch, I'll, I'll lift it up again. I'll put it back down again, right? On the count of three, one, two, three, and I just setting it down. Look at how everybody is working together, right? And you guys think this is all tied down, but guess what? All I'm gonna do, just like that. See what happens when three people work together to do a good task? Man, everything works out super cool. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys just did a great job here. Whoa, right? Wasn't that pretty cool? Look what happens when we work together in a group. And that is the big deal about leadership, right? Leaders don't go as one, solo, on their own. I'm gonna accomplish everything by myself. No, that's not how God created us. He created us to be with other people. And in fact, you can kind of recognize that like when you guys were at home for a long time during the summer all by yourself, right? It was boring. I don't think there's a lot of people out there that would really say, I can't wait to do what we just did again for six months all by myself, right? He created us to be together. And, and that's the really cool thing that I like about Jesus, right? He didn't say, go do everything on your own. Think about this. How about your teachers, right? Look at your teachers, right? Do they all just teach you on their own? No, actually, if you ask them, they'll say, no, man, we work together with other teachers, right? They're all helping each other. If they have questions, if they're having to struggle on how to teach a certain lesson, they go and ask the friends around them, their other teacher friends, right? Or, or think about this, we just had elections for student council, right? How many people are on student council? Is there just one solo person, the president, the one who makes all the decisions, everything that the school's gonna do, the fundraisers and all that good stuff? No, you guessed it, right? There's a lot of you guys working together, one from each class, right? You're all working together, talking and helping things out for the kids here at St. John's, right? And that's what Jesus tells us what to do. He says, don't go everything on your own. Don't, don't just go out and do things by yourself. Get a friend, get a buddy, go do good things, right? Go do good tasks, they're sweet stuff, right, in life. Some of it's not always gonna be sweet. Some of it's gonna be a little challenging, but that's okay. Because when you have your friends, the people around you to help you out, and God, I wanna, I don't wanna forget that, and God, you can go out and do stuff on your own, but when God's with us, he keeps us calm, he keeps us peaceful, he keeps us steady through the whole time, right? Amen to that? You'll, I ho hope you guys uh, uh, learned more good things. I'm gonna put you guys down over here. I hope you guys learned a lot of good things for this month of September about leadership. And in October, we're gonna have some more good things. So thank you for joining us for chapel. I am Mr. Dave again, thank you very much. And before we go, let us pray, all right? Because it's always good to talk to God, all right? Dear Jesus, I just thank you so much that, uh, that you have given us gifts and talents. You have caused us, you've, you've just made us special, right? And we, and we think, think like, eh, you know, we're just not that cool. Uh-uh, that's a lie, all right? You have given us the power to do great things. And even more so, you've given us the power to do amazing things with other people, including you, right? So I just ask right now, as we start off this, this school year, that, that you be with us, that you give us the skills that we need as new challenges and new fun, sweet tasks come up, Lord. Thank you so much. And we say this in Jesus' name, amen. You know the words, man. Thank you guys so much for joining us for chapel and we will say goodbye to you. Have fun singing the songs in the comments below. If you are joining us online, if you are live with us, thanks for singing with us and thanks for joining us. Bye.